everyone, I'm Pia Wurzbach and I was Miss Universe 2015. Pageantry really changed my life um, and also with the way that I won, I did feel a lot, a lot of pressure um, and it was also really a long journey for me because I competed here in the Philippines three times before I could get into Miss Universe. I do remember the struggles before I eventually became Miss Philippines and then Miss Universe. I remember just um, doing little modeling jobs here and there, acting jobs where I barely had any lines in the script. I was the friend of a friend, the girl at the back. I had such a small budget because you don't really earn a lot from you know, doing small modeling gigs and acting gigs. So it was a really tight budget financially. I was really struggling, so I would um, borrow gowns, dresses. I asked my grandparents for help as well so I could buy hair extensions, anything that I needed for the competition. I also didn't have my own place, so I was living with my friend. And there was also a time where I had to sleep in my car with my dog because I didn't have my own place. I had nowhere to go. I couldn't afford renting out my own apartment yet. I also remember the very first time I had the screening for the first time I joined Miss Philippines. I didn't know that it was going to go on for hours, so physically I wasn't prepared. And I was just so hungry, but I did, didn't have any money with me to buy food. But my co-candidates, you know, they, they bought me some food and I'll never forget that you know I'm still friends with them up to this day but I'll just never forget all the people who've helped me along the way and who maybe at that moment they didn't think much of it but to me it really made a big impact so it was a struggle to get here for sure I know what it feels like for the girls now now that they're here it brings back memories whenever I see them that excitement of knowing that it's gonna be tonight and one, only one girl gets to take home the crown and continues her journey. The feeling of not really having or not trying to think about losing or not trying to think about having to wake up the next day and starting from scratch all over again. It's a reality for sure because like what I said, a lot of them put their livelihood, their schooling, their work, their careers on the line just to be able to compete. Uh, so I, I feel them for sure. Uh, this kind of experience really changes you. It makes you into a better person for sure. I feel like whether you win or you don't, you will never be the same woman again. You will be a new version of yourself a stronger version of yourself and whether even if you don't win the crown you will you'll you'll be different you'll just change and you'll be able to use all of the lessons that you learned here in life even when you're not competing anymore you'll know how to present yourself you know how to talk to other people you'll know how to communicate you gain that confidence and those things are priceless so i don't think nobody ever really loses because when you think about it, there are more girls who lose than win. And, you know, are we going to say that, they're, that they, they've wasted their time, that nothing ever happened to them? Of course not. Like, they move on to do amazing things. They put up their own businesses, they start their own families, some go into politics even. They go into their different careers and they become just as successful and they make an impact there. So I think um, pageants like this, pageants like Miss Universe are really a stepping stone to becoming the best version of yourself. That's what happened to me. <laughs> Miss Universe is Philippine. I won Miss Universe. Miss Universe really changed my life, literally overnight and I'm so grateful for all the blessings and the opportunities that it opened up for me. Right now, I'm still working. There's still a lot of work lined up, which I'm really grateful for. I did a couple of TV shows, movies. I did a travel show. 
Um, and in the past two years, uh, I also launched my own um, podcast and my women empowered community that's focused here in the Philippines. It's focused on, you know, giving online support uh, to Filipinas. And I also partnered with a few more organizations that I work very closely with, like WWF Philippines. I still work with UNAIDS, Asia and the Pacific, and there's so many more. I don't have just one advocacy, I actually have a few that I work on. So that's been keeping me busy. But busy is always good because, uh, you know, this was always my dream. <laughs>